Do you want to promote an upcoming event? Whether it's for a business or personal event, creating a flyer can help create interest, especially if you are targeting a small local audience. In this video, we'll show you how to quickly create a flyer in Canva that will catch people's attention. And then we'll guide you through some important decisions about printing your design. If you're new to Canva, you can create a free account at canva.com. Now it's time to create our flyer design in Canva. We'll go ahead and click the flyer icon to begin. In this case, we'd like to create a flyer for an open house for a veterinarian's office. You can try searching by various keywords. But in this case, I've already searched a few times for templates related to veterinarians, and I found that health returns some good template options. This one seems like a great option, and it already has open house in the title. So let's go ahead and open this one. This template includes designs for both sides of the page, but we'll keep it simple and just use the front side. Now it's time to tailor the flyer template to suit your audience. Let's start by changing the title. We'll go ahead and change clinic to veterinary, and we'll keep the open house part. If the text doesn't fit, don't worry. We could either decrease the font size or change the font to something narrower. In our case, we'll choose a new font. Let's go ahead and highlight the title text. Then we'll open the font menu to see our options. This template has a clean, modern design, and not all of these fonts will work with it. You may need to try out a few fonts before finding the one that works best with the rest of the text. This narrow font looks like a good choice. We'll go ahead and click the font to apply it. Now let's personalize the text and graphic at the top. This template has the business's name broken up into a couple of parts, but this bottom part is hard to read. So we'll go ahead and increase the font size to 14. Then I'll type Concord in this field. And I'll add Veterinary Hospital below it. Keep in mind that you can feel free to use these fields in any way that works best for your event. This template has a medical symbol, but we can change it to a more pet-related graphic. First, we'll select it, and click the trash icon in the menu bar. Now we just want to delete the graphic and keep the text, so we'll click Delete Element. Now let's go to Elements to search for a new one. We'll try looking for a paw print. Since the original graphic was a simple icon, let's look for something with a similar style. The color is less important because Canva actually gives you the option to change the color for many of these graphics. Let's click this paw to add it to the design. If you see a color box in the menu bar, you can click it to change the color of the graphic. For this one, we'll choose this blue so that it matches the template. Now we can resize it and position it in the same spot as the previous image. And you can keep adjusting it until it looks right. Now you can go ahead and continue working through the template to edit the text for your specific event. Next, let's talk about options for printing your flyers. You have three options for printing. You can go ahead and print the flyers on your home printer. You could have Canva professionally print them for you. Or you can download your design and send it to a third-party professional printing service, such as Vistaprint or Next Day Flyers. Printing it on a home printer will use a lot of ink, and the colors will likely not look as good. If you want to go with this option, you may want to convert your design to a simple black and white flyer, and delete any large color blocks like this gradient. Although professional printing can be a little expensive, you're going to get better results. But be aware that the colors on the screen will be a bit different when printed out. So we suggest ordering a single copy to make sure you like the colors before printing a larger order. Now let's reopen the print menu and click Print Flyers and take a look at a few of the options Canva gives you for finalizing your design for printing. And keep in mind that you'll see a similar process with other printing services. Professional printing is a bit different than printing a typical document at home. A printing service may print the designs on large sheets of paper and cut them down to size along this dotted line. So they need a margin of error in case they don't cut the paper in exactly the right spot. For graphics that go up to this dotted line, like this gradient, we want to move it beyond the dotted line to ensure that there's no white space between the graphic and the edge of the paper. 
Canva will also have you check the danger zone. Anything that appears in this red area has the risk of being cut off, so you may need to adjust your text and graphics in this step. If you go with a different printing service, you'll have similar options, but they may have different names. For example, Vistaprint will use the term safety line instead of a danger zone, but it's basically the same thing. Although Canva makes it convenient to print your flyers, you may want to shop around to different printing services to find one that fits your budget. Now that you know how to create flyers in Canva and have some options for printing them, we hope you'll start on your own design and get people excited about your next event. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.